If a model appears to be pink and black checkered, it couldn't load its material or texture. This video covers all four reasons as to why this might happen and how to fix it. The only things you need are a modeling software, I'm using Blender, and Notepad++ to read and write the VMT files. It also has a language extension to make it easier to use. A hex editor to quickly change the VTF version should you need to do that. Or a tool called VTFver to change multiple VTF file versions at the same time. Not necessary, but very useful, are the Windows VTF shell extension to see info about VTF files without having to open them. Anyhow, let's start. First, the materials and textures are in the wrong location. The QC file has one or more CD materials lines which tell the game where to look for VMT files. The folder you specify is always a subfolder of the materials folder in the game. In other words, CD materials models slash props vehicles actually refers to materials slash models slash props vehicles. Make sure the line ends in a slash. Then check if your VMT and VTF files are in that location. Second, the VMT name does not match with the assigned material. In the Material tab in Blender, or whatever tool you use, it shows the name of all used materials. Those names, exactly as they appear, will be the VMT names. Make sure these names do not contain a file ending because a material ending in .tga will end up with the game looking for a VMT that ends in .tga.vmt. Also, make sure the materials are actually assigned. It happened before that somehow a model showed all correct materials, yet after it was exported, it added a no material to the list of all used materials. So it may be a good idea to open a new instance of Blender, import your model and check what materials it uses. Third, the VTF location or name does not match with the one specified in the VMT. Every VMT specifies where VTFs are located and what names they should have. Just like with CD materials, the VMT assumes everything to be a subfolder of materials. For example, models slash props vehicles slash barge means a VTF by the name of barge.vtf is found in materials slash models slash props vehicles. While we are here, if your model is invisible or just a wireframe, you may have the wrong shader. Make sure your VMT uses Vertex Lit Generic. Special shaders like Unlit for a glowing material or Eye Refract for eyeballs is also okay. Just anything but light mapped generic. 4. The VTF might be the wrong version. There exist 6 different versions of VTF. From 7.0 up to 7.5. Only games released after July 19, 2010 use 7.5. Games released before that date all use 7.4 or lower. For example, Alien Swarm, Portal 2, Counter-Strike Global Offensive and Garry's Mod can use 7.5. But games like Left 4 Dead 1 and 2 and Portal 1 cannot use 7.5. If you installed the VTF shell extension, you can just select the VTF in the folder and you can see what version the texture is. If it is 7.5 and your game does not support that, you need to change the version. The quickest and the dirtiest way to do so is opening the VTF file in a hex editor and changing the 8th value from 0.5 to 0.4. If you have multiple VTF files that need to be converted, you may want to use VTFver instead.
And that's all the things you need to check if your model has no textures. If none of this fixed your issue, you just didn't pay attention. Because we went through every single thing that is related to textures at all. Trust me, this is the second time I'm making this video just to make some things more obvious. I lost count of how many people told me that they had quote unquote done everything exactly the way I did it in my video and even triple checked it, but it still isn't working. Yet every time I asked them to send me their files to examine, it became blatantly obvious that they didn't pay any attention at all. Anyhow. If you have any problems with modding, join the dead for mods Discord server in which many people, including me, could help you out if you have problems. I also have my own Discord server in which I mostly just shitpost or post pictures of mods I'm working on. Links for both are in the description below. And that's all for today, good luck modding and see you next time.